Alright, so before we ask the big question, let me ask you a question. When you think of Black History Month, who do you think of? Is it Harriet Tubman? Frederick Douglass? MLK? Malcolm X? Jackie Robinson? Well, of course you're going to think those, because they're the big highlighted names. But what if I told you that there's a little more black history than that? Actually, way more black history than that. You see, one time in high school, somebody asked me the question, Hey, Joe, why is there, why is there black history month? I don't get it. It's just the civil rights movement and slavery. And at the time, I couldn't respond. I didn't have a good answer. I didn't know what to say. But now I do. You see, there's a lot more black history than just slavery and the civil rights movement. A lot more. And I can go as far as to say, without black history, there is no America. Point blank period. You see, we generalize black history by its events, not by the people who made black history what it is today. And that's very important. We can't miss that detail. No, we cannot miss that detail because there's a lot of black inventors, doctors, engineers, so on and so forth that have paved the way for America to be what it is today. Let me spit to you some people you probably never heard of. You see, there was Garrett Morgan. He created the stoplight, and that's one of the biggest influences on civilizations in America to this day. There was Daniel Hale Williams, who performed the first open heart surgery in America and which paved the way for other doctors to do the same. There was George Washington Carver, who was the most prominent black scientist of the 20th century, also creating the Jessup Wagon, which helped stop soil depletion for the South. There is Madam C.J. Walker, who was the first female self-made millionaire in America, and we're a time where women's rights were not even present. There was also Ellen Eglin, Ray Charles, Valerie Thomas, Thomas L. Jennings, and Granville T. Wood. And that's just a small portion of people. We're just scratching the surface. I guarantee you, you search any of these names up, you'll see their inventions are very, very influential. Some, you'll even see some in your house. And that's pretty cool. With all this information, I sit back and I realize, you know, kids are not being taught this. Growing up, I remember every time it was Black History Month, we had something going. And we were only taught a few select characters, which was MLK, Rosa Parks, Jackie Robinson, Malcolm X, and that was it. And obviously we would also be taught about slavery and Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass, which were very important characters. But there's a little more than that. There's a little bit deeper what black history really means. You see, American schooling loved to throw in your face that slaves were considered three-fifths of a human, not even considered a human. They loved to throw the fact that Emmett Till was beaten over a lie. They loved to throw the fact that Martin Luther King Jr. was beaten and arrested for standing for what he believed in. But they'll never show you the figures, the creators, anybody who else who made America what it is today. What I'm amounting to is that black history is not about the hardships black people have gone through. It's about the achievements and excellences we have made and strived to help America grow as a nation for what it is today. In my opinion, I think it's important that black kids should know all of black history, not just certain sections. I see black kids get generalized by society and the stereotypes to where they limit their minds and they can't be the best person that they can be. Seeing a long list of black engineers, inventors, doctors, politicians, etc. and so forth could inspire the next generation of black kids to progress the future. It's also important that non-black kids learn black history as well. Why It teaches them diversity and what that does is it helps them understand different cultures, different races. You know, racism is the idea that is stemmed from people not understanding another person's culture or, her or heritage. And what that does is it creates almost like fear out of something they can't understand. So they're gonna try and push and ostracize it away. Rather than if they learn about it, they will be able to understand, okay, this and that, they did this, they helped that. It's more than just, you know, showing them showing them kid, like slaves getting beaten. It's, it's more than that because black history is more than that. You can also take this one step further. Let's ask another question. How would democracy be if black people hadn't fought for their civil rights? Would America still have the same rich land it does without black labor? How do you think the food in the United States would be without black foods. You see, there's so much more information that could be taught about black history, but you know what? It's up to you to learn about that. To all my black brothers and sisters, happy Black History Month. And with after the events of 2020, you know what? I think this one's gonna be really special. And when I say special, I mean you. But what makes us so special? Well, we come from a history of hardships, a history of tragedy, a history of full of death. And yet, after every beat, every step down, 
every not negative influence we've ever had against us, we still yet find a way to progress. We still yet find a way to be positive and we still find a way to shine through, even in the darkest times of our history. We face racism, prejudice, racial injustice, and there's so many other issues counting, but we are strong. We turn tragedy into trial, and that is something we can pass in our next generation. One last thing before I head out, black is strong. Black is beautiful. Being black is one of the best things, one of the best experiences I could ever have, and I would never trade that in for anything. Whether if you're light skin, whether if you're a darker skin, be proud to be black. Jojo, out. Thank <music> you.